Hello there, lovely world of YouTube. My name is Angela, and this is my first video ever. After years of watching lifestyle and fashion and beauty vloggers, I decided that today I'm going to start making my own videos too because I just really love fashion, and YouTube is the perfect platform for that because videos are very dynamic and I get to be creative. So I thought, hey, this is going to be fun. It's a good idea. Why not? And so, without further ado, I'm just going to jump right into my first video, which is a collective haul of all the stuff I've bought within the past two weeks. So the first place I went to was Kate Spade, and I was so happy because I got myself a new bag. So this is the Small Lowen and the uh, Blushing Pink Safiano Leather. It's literally the most perfect bag because it has handheld straps as well as the longer shoulder strap which means that this bag is not only versatile but also very convenient because you can go hands free. And then I got the matching wallet but in a sky blue color because the wallet I had before from Kate Spade was smooth leather so it got all kind of scruffed up so I opted for a Safiano because it's really durable. And then also from Kate Spade, I got these two bracelets. They're both bangles, and the first one is a skinny one in white enamel in a bow. And then the second one is a thicker bangle with seafoam enamel and um, golden spades all around. So I decided to get myself a pair of black Tory Burch flats, the um, black Riva Ballerina Flats with gold hardware. Um, these shoes are not only really comfortable, they also look really nice. And because black flats are staple in any girl's wardrobe, I decided to get myself these ones because I've wanted them for a very long time and they just look so classy and sleek and elegant. I went to the bay and I got myself a phone case from Coach. It just looks like this. Uh, it has a either a cheetah or a leopard print. I'm not actually too sure. But um, because I have a black iPhone and this animal print here has black fur, it matches very well. And also from the bay, I got a pair of shoes. They're by the brand Pagabo. And they're just these slingback kitten heels. And they're a great pop of color because they're not as bright as coral, but they're not as like neutral as nude. They're like, basically, if coral and nude had a child, this is the color that they would be. And I got another pair of pointy shoes from Little Burgundy. Um, I got myself some Shelly's and basically if you don't know what Shelly's is it's a um, British brand and it kind of they kind of remind me of Jeffrey Campbell designs like not this particular shoe but just their design in general they remind me of Jeffrey Campbell just not as grungy but these shoes were very unique because they're tricolor like you don't really see tricolor shoes a lot unless they're like running shoes and these just looked really good on and they're very comfortable. I went to Topshop and I got myself a very pretty dress. This one has a sweetheart lining and it has um, sequins all across like the chest area and then the bottom half of it is just a chiffony flowy nude color and this dress was just really pretty. I did a lot of clothes shopping for summer during spring so I'm pretty much set on um, summer clothes but I did pick up a few pieces that I really like. So first I went to Anthropology and I bought myself this sweater right here. It's a maroon color and it looks really flattering on and I thought it was cool how it had buttons along the back. You don't really see that very often and I almost can't wait for it to be um, fall again so I can like wear this with a collared shirt. And then I also got two dresses but the first one is from Abercrombie. It's just a really cute spaghetti strap. Um, pink skater skirt with lace detailing. I thought it was really cute and um, 
it's really lightweight so it's kind of perfect for summer and then the next dress I got is from RW and Co and it reminds me of like the t-shirt dresses from Randy Melville but like the material isn't like the t-shirt cottony type um, it's more it's slightly more structured but it's still very boxy because it kind of just doesn't have a shape it just goes straight down but I really like the graphics on this and usually when I wear this I would um, stitch it with a belt to give it a more feminine look so then this is this graphic t-shirt dress and then after that I went to Sephora and I just picked up two things so the first thing I got the first thing I got was just the um, the Lancome Hypnose Drama Mascara and um, I'm sure I'm sure everyone knows that Hypnose Mascara is literally amazing um, this is one of my favorite mascaras along with the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and then uh, the other thing I got from Sephora was just a really cute like lip, lip tint like I want maybe like a a balmy tint but then again it's from Benefit so it's called like Benetint no way no Benetints are like the liquefied tint things this is the Benabalm yeah Benefit names are like really cute but I kind of get confused sometimes but anyways this is the Posy Balm by Benefit it is such a pretty color it's basically I would say an in-between color of um like a rosy pink with a coral. I like the Beno Balms because they give you really nice color payoff, but at the same time, they are very moisturizing for your lips. And then, um, after that, I just bought a few like miscellaneous things. I went to the face shop and I also went to Walmart. So from the face shop, I got this thing. It's a scrub, it's the Mild Papaya Peeling Scrub, and it just looks like this. Um, I actually tried it today, and I feel like it works very well. If uh, you feel like your skin texture is uneven, I would definitely try out this product from the face shop because um, it's very mild on your skin, so if you have sensitive skin, this would be good for you. And also, it wasn't too expensive either. I think it's around... It's between 50 and 15 and 20, I don't remember the exact price, but definitely try this out if you want to get smoother skin because this takes dead skin cells right off your face. And the last thing I got is actually a water bottle. Uh, it's a Brita water bottle with the filter inside. I'm on the road for two months during summer and these Brita water bottles are honestly blessed in terms of making tap water just taste like normal water. Um, these do a really good job. And basically, I got it because it's really convenient instead of I'm carrying around like the Brita kettles. If I get one of these, I can just fill it up with water and it'll taste normal just like that. So yeah, that was everything I got. Um, thanks for watching, guys.